Outlander fans, I'm Leanna Aguilera, and joining me right now is Outlander's executive producer, Matt Roberts. Matt, thank you so much for welcoming me into Lollybrook. Glad to have you here. <laughs> How do you like it? I love it so much. I feel like this is now my home away from home. Well, we set it up just for you, so... Thank you very much. But what I'm excited about is that we are going to get to see Lollybrock a little bit more this year because quite a bit of season three centers around the home. But season one, I feel like, was really about establishing Jamie and Claire's love. Season two is a little bit about testing it. What would you say is their journey in season three? Is love really worth fighting for? And Jamie and Claire's story is, is a love story and it will always continue and that's what binds them together. And it's the things that come into their life that causes the, the problems. Mm -hmm. It's not the love. The love's always there. I love that. Well, because especially some of the fans were saying that they wish that they had had more romantic moments in season two. Uh, for season three, do you want them to really just fixate, as you said, on the love between Jamie and Claire? I think seeing how important that love is to each character without each other. Mm -hmm. and, and that's, to me, what shows how much they love each other, that they can't even have a whole life without the other person. And I think we do a really good job in showing that they're not whole people without each other. Mm -hmm. Now, in season two, you guys stuck very closely to the book. Obviously, you had a little bit of your own interpretations on it. How are you viewing season three? Because so much happens in Voyager yeah. that Putting it on screen, I feel like, could last hundreds of episodes, let alone however many we're going to get in season three. So what is that fine line between showing what's going to happen and putting your own spin on things? A lot of it's production-based in what we can do. The books are very big, and, and we try to stay as close to the story as possible. We, we have to veer off because of how we what practically we can tell yeah. in, in the time and in the, in the space we can do it in. We always go in, especially in the writer's room, we always say, this is the story, let's try to stick with it as close as possible. But it's when we veer off, we try to get back to it as soon as possible. Exactly. We'll have the, the same essential end game. Yes. <laughs> uh, now, with season three comes a special challenge of adding 20 years yes. to all of our actors. Yes. What has the biggest challenge been for you guys in the writer's room in doing that? Physically, Diana doesn't describe them as aged up that much anyway. So I think what we do is we kind of weather them a little more and let time, uh, their emotions uh, speak, and they age through their acting more than just physically. Yeah. So. What is the one thing that you want Outlander fans to know before they tune into season three? Really? The yeah. one thing? The one thing. Uh, the one thing, uh, you'll be rewarded for your patience. You really will. I think this is going to be one of our most epic seasons. It's going to be big, both in scale and in the amount of raw emotion and love on the screen. I think, I think they'll be rewarded.